a value object is a reusable object that does not only encapsulate a primitive value but also its behavior. Identifying and extracting those value objects improves the cohesion in our code and avoids duplication. Suppose I created a new component that consumed an already existing value object, I would be less likely to accidentally re-implement the value's behavior and duplicate already existing code which would increase the risk for bugs. The code I have here is a event repository. It stores events and it does have some business logic with the event state range. So I can remove overlapping events. When I remove overlapping events, there is a condition that checks whether an event overlaps with a given date. To me, this already smells like a primitive obsession. I would like to extract a value object here. Now let's look at the event. The event contained a from date and a to date, which could be extracted to a value object. And even in the construction, there is business logic that could be moved to this value object. Now let's try the refactoring. And to be safe, I will run my unit tests continuously. Let's see if the unit tests work. So I will just comment out one line save and I'm in the red. I will make this line smaller. All I need is a single line to know if the code is working or not. Let's fix it again and save and I'm in the green. And I will stay in the green throughout the whole refactoring. The first thing I want to do is I want to extract this condition. It is concerned about the from and the to dates. And I will call it overlaps with. As you can see, the overlaps with is only using the stored event. So I think it would be feasible to move it to the stored event. Now I can inline the from and I can inline the to getter. Save and I'm still in the green. Let's look at the event repository. It is now calling stored event dot overlaps with date. It is very readable. In the event, I would now really like to extract a date range value object and it should contain the from and the to dates. For this, I would like to create a delegate class extract delegate and it should contain the from and the to. Possibly also the overlaps riff. I will name it date range. Now it tells me that it needs a lot of accessors and I will fix them after the refactoring. So here it tells me that the from is not, it is final and that it should be not final. So I will just do it for now so that I can run my tests. And I'm in the green, so everything still works. Let's take a look at the date range. The date range now contains the from and the to date. And it already contains the overlaps with method, which is kind of nice. So I, I can already see the, 
value object. But I would really like to move the creation and this validation also to the value object as this is where it belongs to. So I will first split the initialization of the name from the initialization of the dates. Next, I would really like to move this code to a factory method that created the date range. But as long as it is referring to this .date range, it's not really doable. So I will create a temporary here. Use the temporary and assign it. Now it tells me that it's not final. That it is final and I will make it not final. Save and everything still works. So I can now get rid of this code. It's redundant. And I can now extract this piece of code which creates a date range. So it's my factory method. I will make it static and public. And I will call it create date range. I can inline this temporary now. And I can move this factory method to the date range object. Save. And I'm still in the green. So now I would really like to move basically all of this code to the constructor, which is really where it should be used. And for this, I will first create a, a constructor for both of the fields and use this instead. Save. I'm still in the green. I can inline this, get rid of the old constructor, which is not used anymore. And I can now also move this code up to the constructor. Save. And I'm still in the green. So this constructor could be private. It's only used in my factory method. I will move the factory method in, on top of the constructor and make it package private because it's not used outside the package. And I really would like to call it off instead of this long name. As you can see in the event class, date range off reads really nicely. This can be private, this too. This could be package private. And I think now this could be even final. Save. I'm still in the green. As you can see, we have now successfully extracted a date range value object. I can use it somewhere else in my code whenever I need it. And I can reuse the overlaps riff method. I can even add new functionality to this value object and reuse it wherever the date range is being used. The event is just delegating to the date range. And this was the extract value object refactoring.